Despite the geopolitical risks in the region, South Korea is holding on to its high credit ratings from global agencies. The latest grade comes from Moody's. Seoul retains AA2 rating mainly due to its strong economy. EG1 provides a closer look. Global ratings agency Moody's released its country credit ratings on Wednesday, and Korea, along with France, the UK, and Hong Kong, stood at AA2, the agency's third highest rating out of its 21 levels. Five countries, including the US, Germany, and Singapore, were given the highest possible AAA rating, while China and Japan stood at two notches below Seoul at A1. South Korea was upgraded to AA2 in December 2015 and has been able to maintain that level ever since. The agency pointed at South Korea's strong economic resilience, which could lead to robust growth and high competitiveness, along with fiscal soundness and the government's transparent policies as its reasons for maintaining the ratings. Moody's also reaffirmed its outlook on the country's economy, rating it as stable and forecasting the country to post growth rates of 2 to 3 percent over the next five years, helped by its size, diversity and competitiveness. But the agency also noted that geopolitical tensions over North Korea stand as a potential threat, as well as the possible weakening of long-term growth from the government's structural reforms. Earlier in the week, South Korea also maintained its AA3 rating by Fitch, another global ratings agency. Fitch cited Seoul's robust external finances and strong macroeconomic performance balanced against its aging population and low productivity as the reason. Though Fitch said geopolitical risk resulting from the tensions on the Korean peninsula continues to weigh on the rating, it does not see an outright war occurring in the peninsula. Korea has been at AA3, the agency's fourth highest level since September 2012. Lee Ji-won, Arirang News.